Welcome. We are doing this live. No editing. This is raw video straight from the stream. Big kind of event happening, unless you're watching this video much more in the future. This video is all about the new player guide. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link's new player guide. I'm expecting you are a new player and you're watching me for the first time. If so, a little bit about me. 2017 World Champion Finalist, 2017 First Place NA World Qualifier Finish, First Place Global KC Cup Finish, 2019 World Champion Finalist, all that good stuff, just so you know a little bit that I may know what I'm talking about. All right, now let's go into this. New Player Guide. We're going to talk about important tips, instant best new player deck, that's what this video is all about, how to get better at Duel Links, and we may touch up on some other useful information, or I may leave that up to you to look into. So we got three big tips and or mistakes to avoid completely. Be careful with your in-game resources. And gee, if you could turn off that fan over there, I can't run over there. We're in a live video. Do not spend your dream tickets or gems without guidance. So what you need to know is that on a brand new account, you're going to have three 3,350 gems plus a dream ticket you are and a SR ticket. You're going to have so many other tickets, but they're not dream tickets. The dream tickets are the most important tickets. All right. So let's go back into this. Do not spend your dream tickets. Do not your spend your gems without guidance. All right. Dream tickets are incredibly rare. They could be worth as much as $100 of in-game currency. So you do not want to waste a $100 ticket on a $1 card. Be aware of your limited cards because there is a system in game where you can convert your cards. There's no crafting in this game to craft exactly what you want. Only some cards are craftable and they're not that great. So in order to craft those not so great cards, you have to convert cards. So do not convert cards that are possibly limited or you have anything less than three copies of. If you have more than three copies, if you have four copies of a card, feel free to convert the cards because there are some good cards in the card trader. Up next is update your dual settings. Do not play with the default dual settings. You're going to want to go in game. I'll show you this real quick if the game could load for me. Thank you very much. Let's close this down live demonstration you're going to go to your settings you're going to go to dual you're going to set your player view to top down view you're going to set your self chain to on if this is going to be on auto you're going to set your toggle button to on these are the main settings you want to set on top down view self chain on toggle button on let's get back to the guide now some instant new player decks these decks can be built near instantly for free after installing. I tried this myself. I installed the game on an emulator and I was able to build this deck instantly. Number one recommendation is Noble Knights. For 1,000 gems, Noble Knights are the best instant deck that you could build on a new account. This deck can later be built into a full tier one deck. If we look at the tier list, it is right now the best deck in the game. Now, this list itself is not the best, but it can be turned into the best deck later if you enjoy the deck. It will also require about 500 gems, possibly more depending on your luck to pull a normal rarity Gwenifer, and you're pulling it from the infinite ray box, not from Lords of Shining. So the card was reprinted into a better box. You're trying to pull for Gwenifer, and while pulling for Gwenifer, you could get really lucky and get some other really good Noble Knight cards, which I'm not going to confuse you with. So the infinite ray box is the one you're going to pull the Gwenifer from, and you're also going to get a free skill ticket to get the skill balance for your character. So you could pick Kaiba as your first character, then with your skill ticket, unlock balance. So otherwise you would have to farm a bunch and get lucky and it would have to drop for you as a drop reward, which could take forever. Now, if you want to improve this deck to become tier one, you can go to the Noble Knight Breakdown. I'll also show you a quick tier one build of this. But so far, this is the deck with the extra deck with the main deck it's going to look like this now there are a lot of tech cards on this there are a lot of cards that are not core cards we're doing our best to just fill the deck instantly so what you need to do is with your 1000 gems you're going to purchase the tales of the noble knights once to build this deck now if you purchase it a second or third time it does require money it becomes four bucks then seven bucks it does make the deck so much more better but i'm not telling you that you have to do that to instantly have a good deck to play 
So the tech cards, this is a little bit about them. I'm not going to go too much into them, but it tells you where to get the tech cards from. Otherwise, what's not instantly obtainable, which I prefer much more than these cards, so if you have patience, is instead to get Hollowed Life Barrier. To get Hollowed Life Barrier, you have to just play the game. It's for free. You play ranked duels. I believe it's 10 ranked duel wins, 30 ranked duel wins, then 45 ranked duel wins. You'll have three copies of Hollow Life Barrier. So while I would love to include this in the instant free-to-play deck, it's not instant because you have to play the game a little bit to get this, but this card will replace three of any of these back row cards. So don't worry about missing any of these. The Metal Morph, you're going to have to use your SR tickets. I believe you get about six or seven of them when you first start out the game. You may want to use them on enemy controller. The Providence and the shadow spell all three of them for 1000 gems you can get from the blue eyes evolution ex structure deck or just wait and farm up your hollow life barrier what's important with this deck is you do have to have six spells six monsters and six traps at least for the skill to work which is going to guarantee a monster spell and trap in your opening hand we'll go into how to play this deck in a bit let's move on <clears throat> Number two recommendation is blue eyes. Maybe this is what you're here for. You don't know what noble knights are. You're here for blue eyes. You want the cutscenes. You want <clears throat> a blue eyes white dragon cutscene. You want the alternative white dragon cutscene. This deck's got three cutscenes, two different blue eyes cutscenes and an alternative white dragon cutscene. Now this is going to be for one to 2000 gems. Blue eyes, while not as good as noble knights, it's not, is another great option. Blue Eyes could also later be optimized to a strong top tier Blue Eyes deck. I'll tell you a quick pathway to make it top tier. Now to play this, you're going to have to unlock Seto Kaiba Dark Side of Dimension version. It's different than the regular Kaiba you unlock. You unlock it by getting to stage seven in game, which takes probably less than 30 minutes. Now, you're going to want to refer to the Blue Eyes breakdown for a fully optimized build beyond the one that I'm going to be showing you. So this is all the deck type breakdowns on the website will automatically show you the best performing cards objectively, what's doing well, and a top sample deck. But you're not going to have to copy this because this is a bit too expensive for you starting out. Let's go back. So how to obtain. Number one, you're going to spend 1,000 gems on the Blue Eyes Evolution EX Structure deck. And then if you are really dead set on being free to play, or you don't want to spend your gems yet to make this top tier because you want to see if you enjoy the deck first, you want to consider spending 1,000 more gems on another EX Structure deck called the White Dragon Legend EX Structure deck. Now, fair warning, none of the cards from this Structure deck will be used in an Optima Blue Eyes deck. It is literally just to make your free-to-play version better. It gives you a Cosmo Brain, which is pretty good, which is not going to be used in top-tier decks. It gives you a Bingo Machine, which is pretty good, which is not going to be used in top-tier decks. So these do help out the deck, but, you know, be careful with this. It's just going to make your free-to-play deck better, and you'll instantly have a good Blue Eyes deck to play with. Otherwise, if you just purchase this, your deck's going to be pretty bad, and it's going to feel unplayable, and you'll probably be put off from turning it into a top-tier version. So this is about the tech cards. Enemy controller could be used with your SR tickets you get at the start of installing the game, but you get a free enemy controller by just reaching stage 10, which may take 1 to 1.5 hours. So if you don't want to wait that long, you could just use your super rare tickets instantly to build this card. There you go. Now... We have another free plus instant new player deck. Big warning. So in addition to the Noble Knights and Blue Eyes, Red Eyes is another immediately accessible free deck. You're going to have the cutscene with Joey, but Red Eyes cannot be built into a top tier deck later. So if you at least invest into Blue Eyes or into Noble Knights, you could have that investment go towards a better deck that is top tier. Now, this deck could definitely become better, but it is not top tier right now. Maybe in the future, Red Eyes might become top tier again. It used to be. So this is good immediately. It's accessible and it's free. It's good for low rank dueling if you want to have fun with Red Eyes. I'm sure I could probably reach King of Games with something like this. Who knows? You could replace the non-Red Eyes trap cards with anything. The 80 changers from the card trader, which might be difficult to obtain initially because you do have to convert some rare cards and light cards based off of how many cards you're willing to convert. Remember my number one warning up at the top that be careful what you're converting. Otherwise, you just need any warrior. So if you were to purchase the Noble Knight structure deck with this, then the Noble Knight structure deck comes with a warrior that's actually a pretty decent replacement that you could use in your Red Eyes deck. 
That Noble Knight card is a 1900 attack simple card. So these were top decks from the Tales of the Noble Knights. This is what happens when we're doing this live. Here we go. Here's the release of the structure deck. So you could use Peridu, which is simply a 1900 attack monster that could be used in your Red Eyes deck as the warrior because your Red Eyes fusion is going to send a warrior and a Red Eyes Black Dragon to make your Red Eyes Slash Dragon. Now, how to get better at Duel Links. These are just some explanations on the main resources on how to get better at Duel Links. The tier list is updated weekly by the best players in the game. This is not subjective. It's not my friends. It's no one's friends. These are top performing players every three months. If they don't keep up with their performance, they get kicked out of the top player council. They no longer get to vote on the tier list. Then the top deck page is updated daily, every single day. King of Games decks, which is the highest rank in game, and also tournament winning decks. We also have a gem guide that's automatically updating on what the best decks to build. But it's not going to be a free-to-play guide. It's how to spend your gems on optimal top-tier decks. So that could be quite expensive, but it's automatically updating. also tells you the best decks. And then, of course, the DLM Twitch channel, my channel. We're streaming every Tuesday, Wednesday at 6 p.m. EST and Thursday around 3 p.m. EST. We also do monthly world championship tournaments on Saturdays. DLM YouTube channel, which is daily tournament gameplay highlights with new decks. All right. Now, let's say you want to turn your decks, your Blue Eyes deck and your Noble Knight deck into a better deck. Boom. Let's go down here. I want to convert my Noble Knights or Blue Eyes into a top tier deck. So first of all, let's look at top tier Blue Eyes. In addition to the initial investment, if you want to turn your Blue Eyes deck into a top tier deck, you're going to need 5k plus extra gems, which you can get this just from playing the game, leveling up characters, playing on the ladder, doing events. You could get this quite quickly. It might take a few hours. And then you're going to have to use your Dream SR and your UR ticket. Or you could use about 5k more gems in addition to the 5k gems investment if you don't want to use your tickets. And then you could use 11 bucks or another 5k gem. So you could use 15k plus more gems to help complete this deck. Or you use the dream tickets and an 11 bucks to help your gem investment to build something like this. All right. You're going to look like this, and then you have a top-tier version of Blue Eyes. I have a lot of extra deck cards that are not uh, being shown because you could pretty much use whatever. You just need basically these three are the good ones. The Howled Life Barrier is free to obtain from Ranked. The Enemy Controller is free to obtain just from your SR tickets, or by reaching Stage 10, you get one. The Melody is a really good card that you get from leveling up the regular Kaiba, I believe, to level 45. That could take a long time. By the time you get that Kaiba to 45 for the Melody, you'll probably have enough gems to build the stack. So if you really like Blue Eyes, this is a top-tier version of Blue Eyes that you should work towards, and you could easily do it. Now, Noble Knights. Noble Knights is a bit more accessible and is a better deck. So top tier Noble Knights, you want to turn your instant Noble Knight deck into something like this. It's going to be about 2.5k plus gems average. You could get lucky or unlucky, which means it could be less gems. It could be a little bit more, but on average, you should spend about that much. Or and in addition to that, you could spend 11 bucks or 5k plus gems to cancel out the 11 bucks. So if you don't want to farm gems, you want to spend 11 bucks, you could do that to skip this part. So it's not in total 7.5K plus gems. And then here is the deck with the extra deck. While pulling for Gwenifer for your free-to-play build, you might get lucky. You might get this exceed right here. If you do, that is absolutely insane. You really are going to want to use this as one of your main exceeds. So that would be great. Now, what are good best opening plays Good turn two plays, going second, one turn kill. If you want to learn this deck real quick, I'm just going to show you Noble Knights, and then that'll be the end of this new player video. So let's go to some replays I saved. I'm going to teach you how to one turn kill, and I'm going to teach you some good turn one plays. So let's check out our replays right here. And I saved some replays. Let's start with this one. We're going to be playing off against Yuma. I believe this is going to be a great turn one play that you want to set up. So let me get the in-game sound as soon as we load up here. Boom, boom, bam. Perfect. All right. So for this turn one play, you're going to need a Merlin. Merlin is going to be insane for this play. Merlin's going to tribute itself to summon a Noble Knight from the deck. We're going to summon a Madrat. Then Madrat with an equip card is going to summon a Boars from the deck. 
Look at all, this is with the free to play deck. This is with the free to play instant new player deck. That will destroy the equip, then re-equip it onto the boars. And the boars will, re will reveal three noble arm cards. Well, you want to reveal, you want to at least reveal the trap because two of them will go to the grave. The one randomly will go to your hand. So with the trap in the grave, that's gonna be the combo. Get ready. Very good, traps in the graveyard. Gwenifer gonna equip onto the Madrat, so it's level five. Now, during your opponent's turn, this is the combo. He's going to do to draw, draw two. He's gonna hate your nade. That's known for instant winning games, but not against us. And we're a new player free to play deck. He's already playing a lot of expensive cards so far. He's gonna summon his card. So this is when we're gonna pop off with our turn one play that was just a Merlin plus an equip. So the Merlin is gonna have a quick play effect in the graveyard to banish itself to exceed with our field. We're gonna overlay, put them on top of each other to make a rank five Aegis. Then, also on that same chain link, we're gonna banish the trap to summon a monster from the deck that comes with the instant new player free to play deck. So let's see what happens. Merlin and special summon from the deck. We're gonna summon the Dristan. Dristan, if equipped with a card, will destroy a face up card. Well, how are we going to equip during our opponent's turn? Well, when we exceed, our equip card falls off, which will activate in the grave to re equip onto the Dristan to get popping. Very good. Falls off, activate. Equip of eight, pop of eight, and that's it. We have 4,000 damage. That's what an instant new player free to play deck can do with a turn one Merlin. Now, let's look at a one turn kill. You have one turn and you're gonna kill them. Let's go. I believe this is even the mirror match. Let's go, let's hop into this. I'm gonna show you one more play after this and that'll be the conclusion of this new to play, new free to play instant best deck. All right, he's got a bunch of back row. We're going to equip our Arf onto our opponent. That's right. This card is not only equipped onto your own noble knights, you could equip it onto your opponent's warriors to destroy their back row cards. We're gonna equip it, reduce them by 500, pop that back row card. We're gonna open up with a Madrat. Now to do this combo, you need a Madrat or a Merlin, Madrat or Merlin to do this combo with an equip card, all right, let's carry on. We're going to equip him with something. Then we're going to special summon a Noble Knight from the deck. Now, just to be fancy, we're popping our Arf to re-equip it, then we're gonna destroy his other back row. This is not a part of the combo, this is just an extra spicy part of the combo. So we're gonna pop the other back row card. It's his own equip card, that is fine. He's boosting up his monster like a fool. Boars is gonna reveal three cards. This is where the combo comes into play. You need three cards to do this combo. You need the Caliburn. You need the Gallatin. You need the Gwenifer. all right? Gwenifer, Gallatin, Caliburn. So if we didn't already have Caliburn on the field, we would be revealing it with our boars. So because we have one of those three, we could reveal the trap in addition to it. So why is that important? You're about to see for the one turn kill. Now we're going to exceed. The rank five Aegis will equip any number of equip cards in the graveyard. So remember that's combo number one, combo number two. These are the combo pieces. Where's the third combo piece? It's in the graveyard. She activates in the graveyard. So let's do that. And just like that, we are exactly 4,000 attack. That's why you need the Gwenifer for 300, the Caliburn for 500, and the Gallatin for 1,000. And when you exceed, when they're in the graveyard, you get to re-equip all of them onto your Artorgus. So the Boars deals with all of them. It gets all of them from the deck. So you're gonna have this one turn kill. Now you're gonna use your Artorgus effect to detach a material, destroy a monster from the field, and you have an open field. One turn kill with an instant New player, free to play deck. Now, let's do the last combo and that will be a wrap. We're gonna find it right here. Perfect. Let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. So with this com combo, you need two cards. You're going to need boars, plus you need the glory of the noble knights. You get two of this in your instant free to play deck. So it's a two card combo. And if you don't open up boars, Madrat will summon a boars. So it's it ex extended with, you basically have more boars to do this combo. So very good. We're gonna summon our boars. You already saw the combo, the boars. Its main job is to get the trap in the graveyard and a Gwenifer in the grave. So we're gonna reveal those three 
get the trap in the graveyard. Perfect. And then what we do with the rest of the cards doesn't matter. So now, this is the combo. Because we had a Boars and the Glory of the Noble Knights, this two-card combo, if our opponent, which is another Noble Knight player, tries to do something, we get to pop his card. We're going to use the trap to summon a Dristin, and then we're going to equip the Dristin with our Quick Play spell to pop a face-up card. And there you go. Three great plays on your first turn. First turn if you're going first. Also the one turn kill if you're going second. If they don't have back row and you could destroy one monster, go for 4,000 damage. Hopefully you enjoyed this very quick and raw, free to play, new player, best deck video. I'll see you on twitch.tv slash Duel Links Meta. I'll see you more on my YouTube channel. I'll see you more on duellinksmeta.com. You can read more about the guide and reference to it. That's a wrap. Fools. Very nice.